I wanted to shoot a quick video um, detailing one of the problems with these things um, that uh, I think most people kind of encountered last year and we're trying to figure out a, a way to fix it for this year. But um, I know everybody's excited for the pre-order sales and making plans to get stuff. And I think you know people have become a little more uh, comfortable ordering from AliExpress. But... Um, it's hard to tell what you're getting on any of those websites uh, just looking at a picture of, you know, a bundle of nodes or something like this. So um, one of the the big problems with any of these things, uh, and I think most of us kind of figured this out the hard way last, uh, last season, is with the construction of the bottom of the string right here. Now these are some brand new nodes. These are the 1809 pixels I believe. Um, you can see these have the longer silicone jacket on them. They are silicone filled and uh, that's the problem. Um, let's see if I can show you here. The uh, main issue with these things comes from uh, what happens if you put any sort of stress or strain on the wires. I'll, I'll show you here with this one. As you start to pull on the wires, uh, and I'm not pulling very hard, you see how the wires start to separate. Um, if you look down the node, you can actually see all the way down into the bottom. Um, you can see the circuit board and the soldering joints down in there. So if you wanted to use these, uh, like for a, a mega tree type application, um, just the weight of, of the string itself pulling from the top of the tree is, is going to kind of pull on those a little bit. Um, but the problem with these uh, silicone filled ones are, are just what I showed there, um, where they, they're just soft, they come apart. Um, you know, the, the node itself can kind of bend. Um, but that give also happens up here at the top. And as you start to get, um, you know, quality control on these things, you can see this one's in there kind of crooked anyway. Um, there's just there's not enough silicone uh, around the seal up here at the top of the bulb and you start to get water moisture in there and and that's where I saw my biggest failures this year in these things was rust right here at the top of the board and then rust right down here at the bottom um, even to the point where some of these actually shorted out and uh, melted the resistors and started on fire so uh, the newer generation of pixel strings uh, that are coming have a, a hard plastic resin filling in them um, which should should fix both of those issues. Uh, it should provide some strain relief so that these can't pull apart, can't stress those soldering joints and it should answer the, uh, the waterproofing issue as well. So uh, I just kind of wanted to put this out there just to show exactly what the problem is. Um, kind of have it be a, a bit of a buyer beware, I guess, when you're ordering any of these type of nodes, um, that that's something you, you really want to make sure you specify, um, is that they're, they're at least an IP67, if not an IP68, um, type LED with, uh, with the, uh, resin filling in them. Um, because otherwise, you know, I, they are inexpensive, but it does add up and, um, you know, it's, it's really, it's a pain in the butt to have to cut one of these out and solder the, the eight wires to replace it. So, um, just two things to look for if you're looking at, uh, pixel nodes or pixel strings for next year, um, to, to make sure that you're getting the newest iteration of these, the ones that are, are have some of those waterproofing issues addressed. So that's it. Thanks, everyone.